Hello everybody, my name is the Grantmeister, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you my Dell Optiplex gaming PC build. This build cost me roughly $200 to build, and this PC was made with new and used parts. So if you go completely used, you could get a better deal. When I bought this PC, anyway, it was only $70 free shipping. You can bu find PCs cheaper, whether it be with older or less powerful CPUs. You could also reduce the price on auction if you are patient, unlike me. So, so now the computer specs when I bought it were i5-2500, 9K, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and no hard drive. I just put a hard drive in. I had a couple lying around, so I put in a total of 2 terabytes of storage to go along with it but this was unnecessary so I recommend to go to eBay and get one for twenty dollars which brings this PC to ninety dollars already plus ninety dollars for the graphics card which I bought on Amazon a while ago it was a GT 1030 I chose for the build and I would recommend going used with the GTX 1050 Ti low profile or something like that because of this was kind of really exp it was too expensive to be kind of considerable um and I would re recommend doing it on eBay cuz of then you can get auctions and all that crap but if you can find another website to get it cheaper that is a great deal too so since I only had 2 gigabytes of RAM I've had a 8 gig stick lying around of RAM so I put in 8 gigs into it for a total of tw $20 in for the 8 gigs of RAM and 200 US dollars in total for the PC build. After I was done doing the upgrades, I had 10 gigabytes of RAM, a 2 terabytes of storage, a GT1030, and an i5-2500. These are the benchmarks I'm about to show you. Demonic presence at not safe mode. Lockdown in effect. Now as you can see, they do pretty well. This uh, Dell Optiplex gaming build has a really good upgrade path. And probably next time next GPUs launched, they should have new low profile graphics cards like the G maybe like a GTX 1180 1150 Ti. Thank you guys for watching. Grantmeister is out.